good morning. It's a warm morning, very warm. Let's see. There's a lot of fruits coming up already here. This is a sugar apple. I oh, know. So hopefully maybe in about a month or so it'll be ready. Let's see some more here. There's quite a few right there. A cardinal and the mangoes are pretty much done only a few left to harvest not too many this one right there. I was looking that it looks like if I keep the tree small I can probably put some more mango in between like where this row of sprinklers is like for example this is where these two um, mangoes are and then on this side I have these two but if I were to place it for example right here right there then I kind of have enough spacing if I keep this the tree small which seems to be a good way of having high production if you keep them small and they're easy to access so I was counting I could probably do this I believe in like um, 10 rows anyway I figured that I could add maybe 50 50 more mango trees which I'm considering doing that so that may be another project I just recently started selling the mangoes I was just basically giving it away to family and friends but it was really difficult to give them away sometimes, but it's been very easy to sell them. Having somebody come in and pick them and actually uh, give me some money for them. So, I think I'm heading in that direction. So I wanna increase the, the usage of the land and uh, and these are wonderful mangoes so I'm not sure if I'm keeping the same variety these are Glen um, so I have to look into that to see if I change the variety when I add the other mango trees and then my avocados I was told that my avocados are suffering a lot they need nutrition um, so I need to fertilize them heavily immediately as I was told by someone who knows a lot about mango production I mean avocado production so I need to go get fertilizer because um, <clears throat> they're the trees are not sick they're just very weak they're they don't have the nutrition they need they should have more leaves and um, the trunks should be thicker for the age of the of the tree so that's another project i have to go get them some I don't know, to put about eight pounds of fertilizer for each tree now and um, there's 30 trees so i have to go get some <coughs> And then I got a call yesterday, well, before I go to that, we removed the uh, canopy carport area here because of the trees and actually had already been set up for like three years. So 
So they only have a certain length of time that they last. So as you can see, the aluminum poles are on the ground and the canopy it was bad. Uh, it had deteriorated and some of the aluminum poles had also bent so they weren't usable anymore. So I'm looking also into putting a, like a carport here to um, for housing for the tractor and the golf carts. And then I got news yesterday that this area here it looks like I'm gonna have the person come in to grade the land because it's very difficult to do anything with it right now because there's ditches and holes everywhere. It's difficult to walk and or drive a golf cart or do anything with. It just needs to be leveled. So companies coming in on in a few days on Thursday, I believe, to help with this task. And then after that, we'll see. I also have a little pile over here of garbage that I have to dispose of. It's uh, palm fronds and other green material so I have to get rid of that as well and the ongoing project over there of throwing away the garbage bags that are full of the old nursery containers that went bad so as you can see there's quite a bit to do and keeps me busy oh there's a right there there's a woodpecker and get close enough now. All right, so that's all for now. We're here busy, and uh, I'll catch you later. Bye bye.